Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome to the second episode in my Endzone A World Apart Let's Play. Now as a reminder, the first three videos in this series are sponsored on behalf of Assemble Entertainment in celebration of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X version of the game, which is called Endzone A World Apart Survivor Edition. The console version of the game has a UI and control overhaul and also comes bundled with the Prosperity DLC, and in this series, we're also going to be taking a look at the recently released DLC on PC, Distant Places, which will allow us to build a balloon to venture off map, meet eccentric characters and uncover lost secrets. Make sure to click the link in the description to find out more about the game. Really, really does help me and my channel out, so please do consider checking that link. All right, without further delay, let's continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Colony of Libra. Now we're picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, waiting for our balloon station to get built. Of course, this is the building that would allow us to venture out to distant places, and we have all of the materials needed. It's just a really big building, so it's going to just take a while to deliver everything to the construction site and then actually get building it. Now, while that's happening, times are about to get tough. We're about to, we're just on the cusp of having our next drought, which means this lake is just going to evaporate away, as we can see it doing right now. All that it's going to leave behind is salt, silt, and sand, I suppose. So that means that we're going to have to... Tighten the belt, as it were. Reduce the amount of jobs we have for buildings that rely on that lake, as they're no longer needed, and people can do el different things during this season. So we'll reduce the amount of water we get, the fisheries can reduce down, and then we're just going to have to live off of what we've stored, 9,000 water and 6,000 food. Our expedition has just reached their target. We'll get back to them in a second. So I've queued up a few extra jobs just to keep people busy. We'll just add, increase the amount of builders we'll, we have, increase the amount of farmers we have, let them just work the land if they can. But Darren, what about farms? What are you talking about? There's a drought. Of course, but we have prepared for that. We have irrigation plants and these irrigation plants keep the soil moist in various different shapes and forms because you can actually set the amount of irrigation you want. So the ones that are actually managing farms I have set to medium. So they're keeping the things growing and you can actually see the difference right there on the edge of irrigated versus not irrigated. These bits won't grow. These bits will. So everything's being reduced, you know, food's just going to be reduced across the board. No fish, less yield from your farms um, and things like that. Uh, and then, of course, just water itself. We're not collecting it from the lake, so we can't really do much with it. But I've queued up building two extra rainwater collectors, kind of putting all my eggs in one basket here by having them so close to each other. If it doesn't rain on this spot, then we're kind of out of luck. Now, I do have two others over there, but still, it's, you know, you should probably spread them out a little bit further, but that does increase the travel time, etc, etc. Trade-offs, as it were. Uh, when it rains next, which is the season after the next, that's why I want to have these built by that time. Uh, we're gonna... I'll take a look at the moisture map, and you can see where it's raining, and you can see how that kind of moves across the map. Sometimes it can be a big shower that, you know, rains across the entire thing, or it can just be, like, pockets of rain that might hit little bits. So it can be worth spreading out just to mitigate the chance that at least one of them gets something. Or increase the chance, sorry. So, uh, yeah, the only other thing I did in between episodes was I've queued up a kitchen. A kitchen is uh, in research here. So a kitchen processes food into either hearty meals or the luxury items cake and stew. A large number of settlers can be provided for more efficiently as a result of possible demands from the population fulfilled. Um, so yeah, so I've never seen this before. I've never gone that far into the game. A kitchen basically seems like, considering we've got such good variety of food, I assume we can throw some stuff into a stew and cater for people a little bit better. I don't know if that's costing more food or not. It said more efficiently, so I assume you get more out of it. But maybe it includes needing water or something, a stew. You'd, you'd imagine it would. So we'll have to see about that. Anyway, while I think everyone's pretty much got something to do, I'll just add in the collection of maybe gathering a few little bits of plants before they're all completely gone and maybe just gathering wood somewhere as well just something for other people to do while they have nothing left to do for a while and we'll just leave them at that so of course on the bottom here just really quickly we've got seven homeless 61 contaminated shelter uh, people i was gonna say shelters it's settlers uh 76 not using tools 200 don't have clothing now i've only got about 200 so that's pretty much everyone don't have protective clothing excuse me not everyone's naked but protective clothing but we are making a lot i'm waiting to store up about 200 and then when we need to if there's a particularly heavy amount of radiation coming in we can just dole that out and hopefully solve that issue um about 30 percent i would say average radiation of settlers so about 30 percent of our colony is radiated in some fashion or severely 
Um, and then we've got three people who are unhealthy right now. They're sick and they need medicine and stuff. And then 17 are unhappy. Now we could check why, why are you unhappy? They're unhappy because they had an unpleasant experience. That might have been the mission I failed in the previous episode. Uh, they're infertile due to high level radiation. Okay, they're pretty unhappy about that. Um, a relative of the settler has died and is not being buried. Ooh, okay. Morticians. Let's just make sure the morticians should have pretty much full coverage of the entire place. I can't actually see anybody, so there's like one here, for instance. It's very small. But yeah, we could just assign more and just clear up the place if there's any lying around. Keep people happier. All right, so we just had this expedition reach their target. Let's let We've time play and see what's location, going on. Chief. The house must have been an old medical practice. How oh, they are actually. That people cool. before us already scoured this place. At least it'll be it'll be easy to get inside. The door's not locked. So we sent these guys out to the doctor's office that was on the edge of the map. So we can actually visit this ourselves um, by just moving the camera here. This is on the map, for instance, and then you can deconstruct it and turn it into scrap eventually. Uh, but we'll just have a look through it right now and see what we get. So the doctor's office, we've got these two guys waiting outside. We have 12 action points. We gave them 12 rations on their way here. And we brought someone who is educated, a metal tool, and then has a scrap collector badge. All right, let's go in. We're standing in the doorway now. There's a stairway to the upper floor, and these must have been a waiting room and a treatment room down here. Let's take a look around these rooms. We should have brought along our doc. Yeah, we should have brought along the doc, but we didn't have one, actually. Nobody had the medic badge. Let's go to the upper floor, floor first. The doc must have lived right over his office. Everything's pretty much in ruins up here. Someone else must have already been here before us. Nothing left but rubble. Ah, oh, wait a sec. A few old dirty sheets, at least. Spotted by one of our hardcore scrap collectors. He's like, over there, the bed, the sheets. We can use them. All right. That's that floor done. Okay, that's quick. Let's take a look around the rooms. Oh, right, we'll chance this. Yeah, it worked out. No problems at all. The expedition successfully... Yeah, so it's chance-based if you don't have a requirement it's like you can try it as many times as you want but it's like a percentage chance and you're you're spending rations every time you're trying to do something you could fail them sometimes completely anyway i'd say someone um, must have already combed through all the desks and cabinets there's just some old patient files left we can probably learn something from them and we'll strip some of the furniture for scrap otherwise that's pretty much it but we did find a stairway down to the basement so two of our settlers these two guys have actually become educated now they've studied the documents uh, we gained one knowledge for our settlement. That's actually really good because it takes so long. It takes several seasons to get one knowledge point, I feel like. Um, and then expedition, we got some extra scrap. All right. Try force out... Force open the metal door. We have a metal tool, so to use that. Boom. Oh, no. They're actually after getting damaged. Oh, no, they haven't gotten damaged. Let's read it. Oh, my God. Well, the door is open now, but it wasn't locked to hide valuables. There are hospital beds lined up along the walls here with a skeleton on each and every one of them, just lying there, hands folded. Looks almost peaceful. In the back of the room, there's a skeleton sitting at a desk, a grimy white doctor's coat still on its shoulders and its fingers wrapped around a syringe. Guess they must have chosen death over the fate that awaited them after the incident. We could scavenge the bodies, Chief, but we won't feel too good about it. All right, so they've lost some confidence, some happiness for a little while. But they gained iodine tablets, medicine, metal, and plastic. And that's it. This place is done. All right, it's a pretty small place, I guess. Loot and return. Take everything you can. Yeah, so they're going to leave some scrap and take everything else by default because everything else is more valuable. That's fine. They can come back and get the scrap again later. Or we could just send someone else out to get it later. All right, so they're going to start heading back now. And like I said, we can actually see this place on the map. And there they are doing their thing pretty unhappy though he's actually not that unhappy he's got he does have some negative events but he's still overall happy because of other things so maybe this guy will come back and just take a rest benjamin very old adult he's seen it all he's got a radiation contamination badge he's endured high level radiation for four seasons oh my god what a hero <laughs> what a hero all right good How's things looking? We're down to 7,000 water now. How many people not doing anything? Seven. That's not too bad, I suppose. Alright, speed up time. Construction is coming along, but it's just taking a damn long time. We can only have four people work on it, which is a shame. It feels like for such a big building, it'd be great if we could assign like 10 people just to bring everything over. What you could do is build a temporary storeroom like here, 
and then logisticians will bring stuff to the storeroom and they can just like go back and forth so you could i could have planned that maybe a bit better there's no point really doing it now when it's this far along but if we did plan bigger things out here we could do the same ah we're after getting an oncoming sandstorm so this is going to blast its way across the map and basically throw about some radiation and do some damage depending on its severity we're just gonna have to wait for that to cross it's sort of like a uh, battle royale circle or something we have our two expedition guys out here if he wasn't irradiated enough now he's gonna be walking home while a massive sandstorm blows across his face so that's good I think you'll be fine. I don't know. It'd be interesting if he actually got killed doing it. That would suck because they've got a lot of stuff that I want. Now you can actually see what they've got on them. If we check their inventory, it's like, yeah, you're carrying metal. And the other guy's carrying cloth, plastic, medicine, tablets. Place is looking good, though. Um, this is almost ready. Yeah, they're okay. We're planting on these farms, we're harvesting on those. Yep, not much else to do. So let time keep playing. Population's growing, more people are being becoming homeless. Ultimately just need another shelter, I think. Uh, shelters, people don't grow in shelters or reproduce in them. They only reproduce in their own homes. So if you want to control your population, you basically just give them shelters. You can also do birth control, I guess. But they don't like that. <laughs> I think birth control probably is just abstinence more than anything. I don't know who's enforcing that, but uh, looks like we got some damage from this blowing in here. Oh my days, some buildings have been completely wrecked. So what we can do is while we're having the drought anyway, we've got people not doing anything, just get on repairing buildings. We have a lot of materials, a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired now. And did I just see? Yeah, we've got someone coming in, a trader. All right, food is okay. Water's getting kind of low. 4,000, I'm getting a little worried. The drought's almost over though, so we can get people back on the lake pretty soon. And then of course it's gonna start raining again. There's not much I can do for the repairs. We've just given the order and hopefully they'll just get their materials and go where they need to go. Some of them have built these little roads as well, which is good. All right, the trader, let's have a chat. Hello, my friend. Is everything nice and rusty with you? So. They've scrap metals, metal tools, neck scarves, and hard liquor. I don't need any of it. Maybe the masks. What do you need from me? Bullets usually go for a decent amount. I wouldn't mind giving some over. 30 bullets for some face masks. Oh, it's not worth it. That exchange is not good at all. 13 to 30. Bullets are way take way more to come by, I feel like. You need to get sulfur. You need to get you need to refine that into bullets. You usually get about five at a time. Nah. Sorry, dude. See you later, man. Okay, well. Just have to wait for that water to come back now. Any any moment now. The drought should be over. We're down to 3,000. So not too bad, but kind of kind of cutting in close a little bit. To be quite honest. A little closer than I expected. We're down into, into the red now, where it's kind of warning me, like, you're getting low. It's probably going to go down to about 2,000 before the water actually comes back up. The expedition has returned home. So let's send out another one. And uh, we'll just mark this for salvaging. There's little bits and pieces there. There's nothing here anymore. Salvage that. Uh, yeah, there's some food and stuff here. Let's go here. Fast food restaurant. So we've already been here. We just need to tell someone to go out and collect things. So we'll just send, I don't know, a handful of people without jobs out. Um, There's another one, Leia and Henry. Okay, cool. They'll go on their way and do their thing. Kitchen is starting to be researched, and this is about, I'd say, 50%, well, about 66%, two-thirds of the way done. We're down to 2,000 water now, and it's the new day. So let's start assigning people back onto their job of the fisheries. Actually, you know what? Food is fine. Let's just get into the water collector as a priority. So reduce the amount of farmers and increase the amount of water collectors. Maybe logisticians can reduce down a little bit as well. What else? Don't need so many builders. The repairs will be fine. 
It'll take time, but they'll be fine. The water is coming back today, right? <laughs> We're down to a thousand. Holy crap, we kept it. We cut that so fine. And even now, it might still be a bit of a struggle. We're only going to barely store it. We have grown a little bit since, so even more water is going to be required. So just for a little while, I'm going to say just don't irrigate inland for now. Because we really need to save on this water. That one and that one. Yeah, that's okay. That one's okay as well. All right. I want that, I want that number coming back up fast. <laughs> No one's thirsty, at least. That's really the main concern. What's your problem? You need cloth. Well, they're making cloth. Cloth, metal, and yeah, they we'll probably need another refinery. 16 people, though, working away. I guess we're just consuming a lot. All right, how are we doing out here? Almost done. Almost done. Almost at the building phase. Just a little bit more cloth needs to be delivered and plastic. So again, this has already been queued up. This means it's already been allocated and... and, and you know, a sign for delivery. So this hot bar up here is already showing after the fact that, you know, we've allocated it. So as soon as we put this down, it costs 100 wood. You see 100 wood get deducted because it's been assigned. If you don't have enough to do it, it'll be red. But we can't take it away now. That's that's what it's got. All right, so it says it's going to rain today. Um, we might just be getting unlucky. Yeah, it's raining out here. The striped terrain is where it's raining. And we'll see that like kind of move and shift. We're getting a bit unlucky, though. It's kind of raining in the lake. That water tank filled a little bit. Go grab it. <laughs> grab every little bit. We have 50 people out there just trying to grab water. And as many people as possible can use the jetty all at once. Look at them. They're all just carrying boxes of water. How much do they carry at a time, I wonder? 25. I used to do this, I don't know if it makes a difference, but if I toggle this off, and I toggle this off, the workforce still stays at 50. I wonder will they just drop it to this one now, because that'd be better, it's just like a shorter distance, right? I think that's how it works. And it's like the same with this, just turn off one of these, just go to the one that's closest, you know? We'll see if that makes any difference. Water is gaining, though, so it looks like we just so got so close with that. And how's this going? So we're grabbing scrap. We have to grab 428. That's okay, though. We're doing it. And this can be stopped. This can be stopped. Just these random tasks can be turned off now. Okay, good. Right, so we survived the drought, only barely. We can um, save on some of these farmers now. Get back to the main area of farming. Oh my god, look at this. It's almost done. Balloon station. And then we need to send people off to do this. And there we go. We have it up and running. Expedition to the east. Western to the north or southern. Hmm. I said before, I want to go to the north. I don't know why. I just think it'd be coolest. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, let's just go with... Increase the amount of scouts, I guess. This is a scout profession. It's a five. Nothing stored here right now. Open the window. Let's see. Right. Okay, so there's three steps to each expedition, I believe. And it's old Sorensen. He actually travels to us sometimes. So this is what it recommends you bring with you. Some wood, some cloth. Settler badges for technician, for charcoal, burner. I've got pretty much everything I need for this. What about the other ones? Do I have a connection? Or has the stupid antenna shipped it out of place again? Whatever. <clears throat> In case someone out there hears me, here are my coordinates. I could use a couple of helping hands. Previous technical experiences. Um, an asset. Yeah, so we want uh, people to bring tools with them, settler, different settler Hello? badges. Oof. If you find us somehow, please help us. This one seems rough. You need to bring a bunch of water and look at the amount of stuff you need. So much stuff. And they said they don't have any supplies out there. They seem to be struggling. I repeat, if anyone can hear us, we've gotten stuck en route and have some problems. We've run out of water. Any kind of help would be welcome here. If you can hear us out there, we're going to radio through our coordinates. 
coordinates now. Water. We need water. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> A water carrier badge. Nah. All right, we'll go north. Configure the expedition. So these are all the things we need. Settler badges. Natal Nat Natalia has that one, so she's good. We can bring the electronics, the scrap, the wood. We can get cloth. We've got nine in stock. We need ten. That's fine. Bring some metal tools. Um, I don't know how much we're going to need, but let's bring 15 rations. 15 seems good. And you can bring an act activated carbon mask. Now, it would be nice to bring someone else with you, just for the extra carry space, right? So... Let's see, Evan. By the way, their portraits are representative of what they're actually wearing. Like, so he's got a face mask and they've got a radiation suit. So it's actually pretty cool the way it does that. So there we go. Four of those, maybe five in total, I guess. It feels like it makes sense. So five people, one skilled. We don't have a charcoal burner badge. There's nothing we can do there. So we'll just go with almost everything else intact. Let's begin. So it'll take them a while to queue up all that stuff, and then they'll they'll take off, I guess. All right, good. Oh wow, the balloon the balloon is huge. Holy crap! The one that fit in here was in this little socket. That one's like massive. Alrighty. Anyway, so our job in the meantime is just to not die, um, and to make sure we store up some water. So we want to turn all these fishing huts back online and try to assign people to it to make sure our food comes back up. We've got 50 water, water carriers now. 20 farmers might even arguably be a bit too much and we've got less to build so we'll just turn that back down. Let's get some fishing going again. Yeah, looking good. And we're saving on the irrigation as well right now. So you gotta gotta bear that in mind. Alright. Let's check on our expedition. This little one that's heading out here, Tristan. I guess that's another thing. A lot of people are leaving, right? We're sending them around different places right now. Uh, this is full, so you can harvest that. So is this. Alright, good. Alright, let's just speed up time. I don't really think there's any too much else I want to do. I'm saving up the carbon masks. I want to give everyone a mask a bit later. Um, a little bit more housing, I suppose. Where is it raining right now? Oh, nice. It might blow across the... Come on. Blow across that way, please. Damn it. <laughs> Low water reserves. Ah, we'll be okay, right? Researchers performed. Hey, we got our kitchen. I would like to build that. So let's have a look at that building and see how big it is. And what it needs. Resource-wise, we're pretty good. But we want to repair a lot of the houses that are damaged, so I, I suppose we'll kind of wait for that to happen. This is the kitchen. Oh good, it's not that big of a building. So yeah, we could probably make room. Maybe I could get rid of this farm and put it down here. Or maybe somewhere over this way. I guess it would be closer to the food. That's where the animals are. Maybe I could move a shelter out. Yeah. It looks like it's the same size as a school, just about. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it. Would like it to be, whoops, a bit closer in. Just so people don't have to go too far. You want it to be near the houses, right? But also near your food sources. Most of our food comes in from over here. Although I guess fish and cattle comes up here. So somewhere around this area will be pretty perfect. Um, I can't really move the cemetery. So, <laughs> although around there would be nice. Maybe I could move the cemetery. Just build another one, move it to this side and then remove that one. Might not be a bad idea. Oh yeah, I've got like eight morticians. We could reduce those down. Probably picked up almost every body there is. Alright, let's let time play. I'll just leave it on speed one while we make these decisions. Yeah, so we're in planning mode anyway. So housing wise, I'd say another shelter just out here. Just the same as that one. And then you can demolish this. There's 15 graves, so I don't know what the situation there is in terms of like, how does it get rid of graves and stuff? And can you just delete the graves? Because they, they, they do empty out over time. They kind of, they get reused, I guess. So let's just mark it for demolition and see what happens. And then we'll just move one a bit further out. So while that's happening, we'll go community, cemetery, 
can fit one in across from the pastures. Nothing wrong with that, right? That's fine. <laughs> Fits between the two roads quite perfectly. And then in here we can put the kitchen. So that's going to be between the pastures, next to the fisheries, and next to the, the farm. So all the food should just be in this kind of locale, most of it anyway. Let's just pack up our bags and bring it all back. We can return with all of this. That's good. How's this doing, by the way? So the expedition is still being prepared. They need more wood, cloth. Uh, 75 rations? Why is it 75? Didn't I say like 12? Oh, is it like per person? Maybe. I can't even produce that many. Rations are produced from water and food. I could increase the limit. We've got it limited right now, so let them work at it again. It's going to hurt the water though. How's this working, by the way? These being paused. Is that doing anything? Doesn't seem to really be doing what I want it to be. What I want to check, I suppose, just to check this out, is to see, okay, where's all the workers for this then? These are the water carriers. They're kind of highlighted. I just don't want to see any off doing nothing. I think there is a lot doing nothing. I feel like those ones in the building that's turned off, they're probably not working so I'll just keep the buildings on I'm just unsure of that it's not good to risk it when you're unsure <laughs> okay so everyone just continue to do that if you can also keep your filter on okay yeah anyways so then the kitchen so the kitchen will be for food kitchen and it'll just slot in just right around there pretty much perfect cookhouse it says and that's just the oh no sorry I meant to say it's a blueprint but it wasn't oh I thought it was in blueprint mode I wasn't for any of these buildings that's why things are slowing down a bit all right I'll just speed up time let's let time keep moving full up on food in that building we're just waiting for different things to be prepared yeah someone's just died 27 people are unhappy. Is there anything I could do to improve happiness? Your settler's confidence is low. Yeah, well, they're unhappy because they don't have, like, protective gear and stuff. We'll give them some soon. Pretty soon. <laughs> and then tools as well. Cloth and metal and everything is so low. I guess stop on plastic for a while. We've got enough plastic. Armor's looking good. Yeah, so at least food is fine. And we're just about maintaining that. It's starting to come back up again a little bit. Water's coming up too, just albeit very slowly. So that's okay. I think we're, we're doing just fine. I'm right on the edge, but it, at least it's getting better. If there was another drought like it immediately, I'd be done for. Hello, my friend. Is everything nice and rusty with you? It's got nothing I want. Actually, expedition incredible. rations. I do need expedition rations. Apparently. Apparently I need 75 of them. I can give you some electronics. Yeah, people love electronics. And we've got... He loves electronics. Holy crap. His, the amount that he would give for that. I'd much rather have rations. <laughs> 130 for... Something like that. 37 electronics. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. What? No, I'm not disappointed in the least. Great. Awesome. So that should give us the ex uh, the expedition rations that we need to go venture out. So that should be fine. That should save then on food and water to making more. Man, I can't believe this many people are just gathering water. Our water consumption rates are so freaking high right now. We gathered everything. It was a lot of scrap. Ready to roll, chief. All we have to do now is sort out all that stuff. If we instruct our refiners to work for metal, we'll definitely find something. Oh, that's annoying. They want me to build a recycler. I mean, actually, it's not the worst idea, considering we have a refinery and I need more stuff anyway. And then we'll get 53 metal tools. And then it says tolls 22 metal. We have to give 22 metal, maybe? Yeah, I can build a recycler. Can we just get one?
Okay. I've chosen to build that. The radiation level of, of, of settlers has actually gone down since last episode. So that's good. Because you can keep radiation at bay if we just have the irrigators out. That's why I have so much irrigation. So that's why I haven't been giving them as many as many cloth and all that different stuff. It's like, well, you don't necessarily need it. <laughs> um, medicine, though, is a bit of a problem. We do have 49 people in poor health. So let's get that building back up and running. The reason that's happened is because we weren't making herbs for a while. I think we need... Oh, my God. I don't understand what's going on. This game is so difficult. <laughs> so they are gathering herbs. There's 80 herbs around here. What about the other place? 140 around here. So they are doing that. And then they bring it to the medical place. And that gets refined into medicine. But I guess it's just not enough. I've got as many people working on that as I can. And we're not storing any. Damn, yeah. Having a second one of those is quite taxing. I would say. Don't know if I can reasonably like afford to do that, to be honest. At least this is getting almost done. It's almost ready to go. I hope that solves all my problems, this expedition. We just go up to the north and we actually get a bunch of stuff that we can bring back. Mostly water at this point is what I need. So what are your guys' problems? You need metal, you don't have any. Okay, yeah. Let's stop working on these buildings for a while. And you're low on food for this. That's okay. That needs to just have moved. That's why you're low. Hmm. Well, ultimately, I think we're struggling for water, so I just have to suck it up and put down another building to gather more, right? I've got five rain collectors, but it's just not raining for another couple of uh, seasons. I've got loads of people running out to the jetties just gathering as much as they can. I've turned off irrigators. I do have pastures, I suppose, that need the water that are putting demand on it. I think ultimately we just have more people, you know, more people, more mouths to water, as it were. So yeah, we'll just have to make another water tower. It seems like we just need 60 carriers. Because it's pretty much unlimited what you can get out of the lake, as long as it's there. So there's three down here, I guess three up here makes sense. And I might just build that immediately. What does it need? It needs 12 plat- it needs quite a lot actually. We don't really have- Oh no, we've got everything we need. Yeah, get building that as well please. That should, even while that's there, that should allow me to go up to 60 carriers now. We've got nine people not doing anything. Yeah, it's not much I want to do other than just get building. Uh, scrap collecting. How's the scrap collecting going? That's good. We got 300 in the bank. Wood could be better. These guys were scheduled to reforest for a long time, so they could go on to cut down and reforest now. It just gives us a little trickle income of wood. Okay, and I'll just speed up time. Now, we could also venture out and just look for another more resources somewhere. So that place is done. This place has electronics and metal, actually. We need metal, so let's go grab that. Uh, two people could go get that, maybe. That should be enough, I think. Alright, cool. Kind of slow in terms of figuring things out, but that's just my own incompetence. I'm trying to get a little bit better, but I just struggle sometimes. So, what are we lacking? We need more cloth for these guys. Yeah, so two of these shops can go offline, basically. Once they make their next cycle. And we're, we're I'm seeing, like, we're storing herbs and then just immediately it gets used. Gets made into medicine. 50, 56 people unhealthy, man. That's a lot. Now, from what I understand, a low level of health increases the risk of a disease break, breaking out and weakness production. Because affected settlers move slower. All right, so everything slows down with that. Now, there's actually a really handy survival guide here that can teach me more about their health. When a settler's health status is poor and herbs or medicine are available, they take care of themselves. Providing a large amount of different food sources keeps them healthy. High-level radiation diminishes their health. In the case of settlers with low-level health, they move slower and run a greater risk of getting sick. Okay, well, I guess maybe I've just... They've gotten a little bit too... Uh, radiated. And, um... We're just on the edge of running out of herbs and stuff all the time. We need another herbal hut. And we have the people to work it, just about, so I don't see really why not. 
Uh, we need to get this grave up and running though, because there's probably bodies just lying around. So let's just get that one, the cemetery rather. And give us, give ourselves a boost now. Let's make use of the tools that we have. Take the masks, take the tools, get to work. These numbers will tumble down, not all the way, but they'll get better at least. As people grab their tools. Okay. There's a lot of food waiting for us to grab as well, which is good. Nice. Yeah, food's fine. I, water is coming up. Like, right, we just hit 3,000. It's just slow. It's just really slow. That recycler's still not done either. It's almost done. Just a little bit more to go. We're burning through so much scrap, and I guess we're just consuming like cloth and metal in all these different buildings. Metal is storing up nicely. Let's just get more cloth while we're lacking that. That's been used in all the different masks, so I guess right now it could be like, okay, stop working this building, turn that off. So now it's just three buildings as opposed to four. Eventually you can upgrade these and they can become much more efficient too. We need two research points to do that. Water just tumbled down a thousand, so I don't know what happened there, but something is just after consuming a lot. Please, please just rain. It's not going to rain till the next season. I don't even think rain would change things that much. So that's what I'm thinking. It's like, well, it stores it up for when the the uh, lake goes away. There's a drought coming on season 80. That's pretty far out. Hopefully we can. So we need in the next five seasons to store up like 10 to 12,000 water. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be such a struggle. Alright, so there's even more now. 60 are being told to use this jetty. I think I need another one. I think I do. It's crazy, but I don't know what else the an what the other answer is at this point. So basically, a rain collector. This building gives 10 people or allows you to assign 10 jobs for people just collecting water. They'll collect water from the river, or sorry, from the lake, as much as possible, pretty much. They're not waiting in a queue, they're just doing it, you know, as much as they can. It's just a time thing. That's been consumed in a bunch of buildings, and they're trying to store it in the different uh, towers, which is fine. Then, they'll start, they'll still have their same collecting job, but they'll collect from the uh, rainwater collectors after it rains, but it's not raining for a while. So that, that, they'll be good when the lake isn't there. But for now, it's just, yeah, you just have to run out and grab water. Nice, we just got given 53 tools and lost 23 metal. That's fine. And we've told them to consume those tools, so they should be faster. I don't know if they're faster at collecting water with a metal tool. Maybe. It's supposed to just increase your efficiency. So those tools work more effectively. Without tools, production and settlement slow down drastically. Okay. We are losing water. I'm really panicking. Pack up. Just grab all the metal. Okay, good. Let me have an overview of this. So we've got 10 people not doing anything. Can't, can't assign any more water carriers. You need the building to do it. So we'll have to just get another building for that. All right, so let's do it. Another water tower. Um, yeah, I don't want to build it too far out. I want to build it still around this area. But it has to be, yeah, probably about here. Can't build it there. Probably build it here if I shift the road in. Okay, I'll try to build it there then. So they also have a radius of what they can grab from, so I can't build them too far away. One thing that feels wrong though is having so many towers with 
activated coal for filtration and I'm just like, oh, I don't know if they really need it though. But maybe they don't use it, I guess, until it actually fills up. And what we could do is just say, like, stop giving water to the irrigators. I guess it's also just been a very few dry seasons. So that's probably just not helped. The irrigators are working overtime because of it. So they're looking for more cloth and they're looking for still more expedition rations. I have 138, so hopefully it's just a case of moving them. 138 in stock. I think the logisticians are just moving them, right? There's seven logisticians. They should be doing that. This is back up and running, by the way, which is good. So let's just move this. Oh my god, there's actually a ton of bodies out there. <laughs> yeah, let's start picking up some bodies. People are going to be unhappy with that. If people become too unhappy, then uh, productivity goes down quite, quite quickly. Uh, so that road is shifted. Let's go with water again. Water tower, another water tower. It could just go with a cistern. Actually, it gives us the jobs without the cost. And that can be upgraded later. It's the same thing as the tower, just it's less. It costs less. That's probably actually what I should really be doing is yeah, having more cisterns rather than just giant water towers eating, eating up all my resources. Um, I'm going to turn off using the different things now. They have everything they need. And this recycler is trying to make more cloth. Good. All right. Speed three. Let's go. Let's get this building built next. Then we'll go with the kitchen after that. Yeah, water's coming back up slowly. I think I'm just really hurting for a nice good bit of rain. If we have a weather station, we can actually tell how long the rain lasts, I think, as well as um, how much radiation it will bring. Fifteen people without homes. Don't have the resources for this building yet. This is crazy. It's going to be like, you know, half our population just gathering water. I mean, I guess that's just the way it goes. <laughs> At least we're up to 3,600 now. They are getting... It is getting better. But it's not enough for this drought that's coming. I'm scared. How are we doing for this then? This is almost done. Expedition rations have just been loaded up. Five more to go, and that's it. And then they're going to presumably take off. I wish you a lovely day. I'm glad to be able to be back here again. I've packed a whole range of um, super awesome things for you. Take a look so and she, see if you're interested in something. She can give me a research point. What, what would you want for this? 700 water? Oh, man. It's tempting. What about some of this? I can reduce that back down. She actually really likes me, so I could probably do a deal like this. 330 water, would that be too bad? Maybe some decontamination. Oh, she likes the decontamination kits quite a bit. They do cost water, so it's kind of like an interesting sort of exchange. Let's just try that. It's not the best deal for her, but we have good Under reputation. Under normal circumstances, I'd turn down something like that. But you've treated me fair in the past, too. Exactly. All right, good. Extra knowledge point. That's going to help. Just trying to look at, is there anything I can really feel comfortable taking, like reducing down? Not really. Maybe little bits here and there, slow some research down. We do have 15 people not doing anything. Let's just get them water carriers. Oh, a cistern only adds five extra water carrier. Oh yeah. It is raining nicely though now, come on. On top of the, oh, it's raining on our catchers. Excellent. Yes. Fill us up, daddy. <laughs> Good. It's raining across a few of them. So that's just going to help with carrying, getting water when this lake runs out. Yeah, we're up to 5,000. Okay, I think I've solved it, but it just we have to keep that pace up until day 80. And just keep a really constant, steady pace of getting water. So what we can do is look at the tech tree. And I think there was something about like a water pump and just vast, vastly increasing and the speed at which we get water. 
Oh, it's in prosperity, I think, maybe. Upgraded pub, factory, cement, concrete. Might be in there. A pipe system. Actually, I don't even think it's limited to this stuff. I think we just have it. Electric water pump. Electric water pump pumps water out of the ground without the use of manpower. It requires a connection to a functioning power grid. Oh my god, that's what we need. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we need power. That's fine. Get a wind turbine. A solar collector. A wind turbine generates electricity on a lasting basis, thus supplying buildings connected to the power grid. But if it's not windy, I guess it doesn't work. Where solar collectors might be more reliant, because it's like, well, every day. Costs a lot more, though. I'm just thinking of waiting, because she's going to give us one knowledge point, so we could just do that one instead. I'll, I think I might go with the solar collector. It seems like it might be better. We have the electronics to get that done. And we've built up a lot of metal now, so we can pause the metal. Yeah. Okay, pretty happy. Okay, I think I've kind of solved it. I'm a little, uh, obviously you can probably hear my voice. I'm a little nervous about it, but I think it's getting a bit better. How's the sick situation? So that's getting better too. People have their radiation suits and stuff now, I guess. But I do think we're going to have to go with another herbal hut. This just doesn't feel like there's that many herbs around. I guess we could relocate to somewhere there is, like out here. There's 80 out here. There's plenty down this way. Obviously, you need it to rain for them to come back, so. All right, well, let's continue building. Kitchen is tempting, but I need the cl I want to get the actual people housed. Because they're going to be more prone to sickness and things like that. Is this taken off yet? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Distant places. The speed. All right, off we go. Don't know how long it's going to take. Probably ages. <laughs> such a huge vast amount of resources that they've taken with them but hey it's five less people to give water so that's good all right at least we're building this building now as well okay good panic kind of over five seasons to go water is gaining so yeah at the rate we're going at the moment six thousand that means we should have enough uh stored up in future there's some water in these things as well. This is what I don't like, though. It's just like, oh, yeah, like, don't pick this up. Pick this up later. Just keep going from the lake. The lake is the most important place to get it from. But you see them heading out to these things. We're filling up the tanks now as well, which is good. This tank is almost full. Awesome. Yeah, good. Nice. 7,000 water. I did it, Mom. I actually did something. Okay, cool. Cloth, metal. So it seems like scrap is just like a bit of a bottleneck now. We're going to have to start moving further out and looking for it elsewhere. Maybe out there. We have five people not doing anything. No more water carriers can be added. How's the uh, repair situation? Yeah, places are pretty repaired. This one's damaged a little bit. So is that tower. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just trying to think of where we're going to go to get more... Well, we could do another expedition, just grab stuff that's out and about. That we've already kind of encountered. Like, there's a little bit here. 55 uh, electronics here, so let's go get that. Not sure why you can't filter. You can filter... There's lots of great filters in this, and you can search by loads of different things. But you can't search by just who doesn't have a job, like Settler. I feel like that's the main people you'd want to send to just go grab the random bits that are out there, you know? Three might have been overkill for that, actually. Good, the soil has kind of come back to life out here, which is nice. Herbs are going to be growing again. 
Wood is steady. Scrap is steady. Herbs is right on the edge, but we're storing it every now and then. And then it just gets made into medicine, I guess. People aren't too sick. I mean, out of 226 people, having 10% of them sick. Not even. That seems like a normal amount of people to be sick. <laughs> oh, this is set to old and infertile. Interesting. Let's just set it to all settlers. I don't want any more reproduction. So everyone can just settle. Uh, we got our knowledge points. So we can go into here, go solar collector, and start the research on that. It'll probably take a while. A lot of stuff has to be delivered, but... We can start working on power then. Feels like, I don't know if leaving it 80 seasons to even start thinking about power is a good idea, but it should make people happier as well. It's, a, it's one of the requirements for contentedness. contentness. Um, and when they reach the first stage of that, they have a higher rate of reproduction and they live longer. I don't even know if I want that. <laughs> I'm trying to control population, but we could actually get rid of a couple houses as well, maybe. Build taller, as it were. Almost up to 10,000 water, feeling good. 44 radiant contamination, not bad. That's lower than almost ever. It was at 200 not, or yeah, it was at like 60 not that long ago. And we had 200 not wearing protective clothing. The clothing situation is getting better. Coal is gaining, even though we're building, we're creating all these masks. So pretty happy about that. We're not making any tools though. So I suppose the, we can get back in there now. We've got extra metal. And I've stopped making bullets for a while. How much bullets do we store up here? Yeah, they've got enough for a, a basic defense, I think. Cool. All right, good. Let's just keep letting time play. It's been such a challenge, man. Enjoyable, though. I really do like the game. For those who don't know, like this, this series is sponsored and everything, but I, I do have a series or um, a video on my main channel, my review channel, talking about this game before, like a year ago when it came out of early access. And I remember at first I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's just kind of like Banished. But there's so much more to it. It's just like Banished, but like with way more content. I guess Banished has lots of great mods and this kind of feels like it's... Well, it's got its own unique things as well, like the expeditions and... Uh, yeah, exploration of the actual map. And the map is, I feel like, a lot bigger and there's way more buildings. So it feels like a really, 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 really good mod for Banished. <laughs> so if you like Banished gameplay, that's sort of like organizing, sending around jobs onto different things. Um, this is a great game to try. Um, yeah, we still don't have enough for that. So shelters are going to like curb the population from growing. The other houses, people will still reproduce in them, but they should sort of stagnate out. You know, as long as we don't go into like the 50s for children, I think we'll never really hit beyond 250, which is where I'd like to keep it. We might though, if we end up making people quite happy and they live longer, then of course that could prolong things. All right, we're beginning to build the kitchen as well. And that's, of course, is going to require more jobs and stuff. This water is actually full now. So I'm just going to test this out. We're going to tell you not to do anything then. And I'm hoping that the other ones fill up. And it's still we still gain just as much. We should, I think. A sickness is broken out again, so it's going to reduce productivity everywhere. I think I do need another medical facility which is kind of to me is honestly kind of crazy but i suppose at the size we are now we might be right on the edge of needing a second one i don't know if i need another medical facility or if i just need more herbs because we're getting through the herbs so quickly yeah i suppose that's what you need first right is to store more herbs and then if we weren't making medicine fast enough then that's a different story altogether so there's lots out there could just set another one here and just tell them to go out further is that a terrible idea? I don't know. Oh my god, there's loads out here. Let's just set up, set up right inside here. Give them the radius out the other side of it. Let's grab all those herbs. And spices. And it'll take a while. I mean, to get stuff that is out here to bring it all the way back in, that does, that is going to take a while to get it to this medical facility. I'd love to just do a redraw of everything, you know, but it's, that's, a, that's a challenging thing to do. Because <laughs> you get back some resources for the buildings you destroy, but not everything, so you're losing out in the long run. Let's see if we have any jobs to do. Your settlers' confidence is low. They're low on health. 
do something about it. Build another herbal hut. We have that already. Produce 460 herbs and gather plants. Gather plants built. Oh, right. Just tell them literally to gather plants. Oh, yeah. I forgot we could do that, actually. So people that aren't doing anything will just gather some plants. So all we have to do is produce 460 herbs and we'll pass that and then we're going to get 700 herbs as a reward. Damn. I think as I'm playing on normal, those are pretty generous, those missions. Because I feel like um, just generating stuff at it. Where do we get those from? You know, people just stashing them away a little bit. Which I can believe. They're like, all right, we'll give them up to the town. Seeing as the town's looking after our mandates. I believe that a little bit less, but sure. All right, cool. Let's just hide the UI for a sec. I just think the town looks awesome. The big water towers are really the main feature, I guess. And uh, in between episodes, I also queued up the building of a few additional things. This one I forgot to turn on, but it was like um, this Halloween. There's all, like a Halloween decorations pack that I think was a free update. Sorry if I got that wrong. I think it was a free update. And uh, because we grow squash here and like pumpkins essentially here anyway, I thought it looked quite cool putting them down around it. And they actually make the, uh, the houses more attractive and happier in general so that's good <laughs> all right we're over 10,000 water i did it i did it food is getting a, a teensy bit low admittedly i haven't been microwing the um the various farms as well so that could be part of it and we haven't been gathering our gathering huts haven't been really operational so that could be part of it too all right looks like um i'll probably have to wrap up soon it's going to be a bit of a three-parter for actually doing distant places in fairness it is a dlc for a mid to late game part of a city builder which has quite a lot of content in it so it does take quite a while to get to we're only just about halfway there just for one visit and you can visit it like what is it 12 times in total or something to build up the expeditions i'm more curious about what we're going to get back wow that graveyard's filled up holy Moly, they're up to 47 now. We could reduce down the amount of morticians, but not seeing many bodies. 44 visitors in the medical facility, just give, churning out the medicine all the time for them. 121 plants have been gathered and herbs. Still waiting on this being made. Build this next. I think it's already been built next anyway, but... Stored up some water out here as well, so that's good. Yeah, feeling a lot, lot happier now. I really did think I was just going to start... People were just going to start dropping. <laughs> Population is growing, though, which is a bit of a concern. We're at 50 kids now. Just a little bit of a concern. Need that to really ease up. Are there any shelters, for instance, that aren't full? No. So what I might do, I suppose, is build another couple of shelters and then get rid of some houses. And that way they're forced to relocate in. So yeah, what we could do is just literally dismantle. That'd be the last thing I do, I think. So demolish this group right here. And once that's demolished, those people move out. The kids get displaced. And uh, we'll put them into shelters, <laughs> which they'll love. Population control. It has to be done. New trader here, and a drought is coming. Now, interestingly, I thought a shelter was the same length as three groups of houses, but apparently not. That's alright. I guess demolish two more then. We'll put a new one in there. And actually, all the people that are homeless will be housed by the shelter, so that's fine. So, who's here? Hey, we're venturing out to meet you, actually. Greetings from up here. Ole Sorensen is back in town again with some exotic delicacies waiting to be unpacked. After all, if memory serves me, there's always been a few good buyers here for our merchandise, right? Yes. Uh, let's give him some coal. Wow, he's giving us a really good deal. I feel like rations are not easy to make. I'll pretty much give you all the coal he wants. So he wants 70. I have. This is how much I have. I've got 157. That's fine. Fine by me. Keep their pre uh, uh, reputation the same. Totally good by me. Maybe throttle it down just a little bit. Glad to Excellent. Hmm. 
All right, wait for that last house. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do then is just build this shelter. And then in between episodes, I might let time play a little bit. And then we'll come back when that's built. Boom. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. And the next episode should be right after this one uh, tomorrow. That's all for me. Goodbye. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.